The Magic Kettle Once in the country of Japan, there lived an old man. He lived in a beautiful house high up in the mountains. He was proud of his house with its white straw mats and pretty papered walls. In warm weather, he slid back the walls to let the smell of the trees and the flowers come in. Slid means moved easily. One day, he was standing looking at the mountain opposite when he heard a kind of rumbling noise in the room behind him. Rumbling means making a low, continuous sound. He turned around and saw a rusty old iron kettle in a corner. Rusty is old, covered with a reddish layer found on old iron objects. How the kettle got there, the old man did not know. But he picked it up and looked it over carefully. That's a piece of luck, he said, smiling to himself. My old kettle was getting worn out and this looks like a good kettle. He filled the new kettle with water and put it on the fire. As soon as the water in the kettle began to get warm, a strange thing happened. The man thought he must be dreaming. The handle of the kettle slowly changed its shape and became a head. The spout grew into a tail. Out of the body of the kettle sprang four paws. In a few minutes, the man was watching not a kettle, but a tanuki. The tanuki jumped off the fire and bounded about the room like a kitten. Bounded about means jumped high here and there. It ran up the pretty papered walls and even across the ceiling. The old man could not catch it. He called his neighbor for help. Somehow, they caught the tanuki and shut it up in a wooden chest. Chest is a large, strong box made of wood. Running after the tanuki had made them both very tired. They sat down on the mat to rest. What shall I do with this naughty animal? I don't want to keep it in the house, said the old man. Why don't you sell it off to Jimmu, the peddler? The neighbor suggested. That's a good idea, said the old man. So they sent for Jimmu. To send for means to call upon. When he came, the old man went to the chest and lifted the lid very, very carefully. But there was no tanuki inside. Only the old, rusty kettle the old man had found. He did not want to keep the kettle. He gave it away to Jimmu without taking any money for it. Jimmu put the kettle in his cloth bag and started off home. He felt that his bag was getting heavier and heavier on the way. But he did not put it down. On reaching home, Jimmu put the bag away carefully in a corner. At night, when Jimmu was fast asleep, he heard a sudden noise and woke up. He could not see anything, but he thought he heard some noises in the corner. When he lit the lamp, he saw the kettle had turned into a tanuki once again. It was running round, chasing its own tail. Chase means to catch. It ran here and there and jumped and turned somersaults. Somersault is a movement in which somebody turns over completely with their feet over their head. Jimu sat watching the tanuki for a long time. Then he fell asleep. When he got up in the morning, he saw that the tanuki had not run away. The old kettle was still there lying in a corner. He picked it up lovingly. Do you wish to stay with me, tanuki? He asked. To his surprise, 
the tanuki answered in a human voice i'll stay with you and make you very rich you can show me around people will give a lot of money to see a kettle turn into a tanuki and dance so that's what they did jimmo set up a booth with a platform booth is a small tent in a market he put the kettle on the platform at his command the kettle turned into a tanuki at jimmo's commands the little furry animal would then walk run jump leap turn somersaults or dance people loved to see the kettle change into a playful little animal that could do all this they paid jimmo well to see the show big crowds of people came to watch the show and the dear little tanuki never disappointed them merrily it danced many dances the shadow dance the fan dance the umbrella dance merrily means happily it never tired of dancing soon jimmu had collected lots and lots of money he had become a very rich man he said to the tanuki dear tanuki you have made me very rich we can both live in comfort now live in comfort means to live life with ease and happiness we can stop the shows if you like so they decided to stop the shows but jimmu did not forget the old man who had given him the magic kettle he gave some of the money to the old man all of them lived long and happy lives jimmu and the old man are no more but you may still come across the magic kettle lying in a corner somewhere in japan